I like it. Whoa, Cyclone. Whoa. Whoa, boy. Whoa. Holy. Whoa. You, know, you take a lot of break in here. Huh? Whoa. Yeah, whoa. Howdy, partner. What you, what you got? Got me a new Cyclone here. A little bit different from the old Cyclone, but he's going to take a little break in here. I'm back in the saddle again. Ha! Where'd you get him? Well, as you know, I went down to Fort Rucker, El Gran Rinaldo. And while I was down there, the men who enjoy the cowboy part of the coffee break decided to make me a new cyclone. They made him and presented him to me and we hauled him back on a deuce and a half, <laughs> back to Tallahassee. <laughs> a little bit of pinto here, huh? <laughs> yeah, I guess so. That's not a saddle there? This is a saddle. Oh, okay. Rest of it's pinto. Oh. You get a lot of miles out of that rascal there. And he don't eat much. He don't eat much either. I don't know why more young ones around play cowboys like he used to, but they don't. But one reason is because all the cowboy movies now are it graded. Yeah, that's true. But I just thought the people liable to see Cyclone Jr. here. He's been, he'll go with me through. Now what'd you do with Cyclone? You put him out to pasture or something? <laughs> For the time being, I may have to reclaim him any day now. You know how these new breed of stock is? You can't trust them. This one here is mighty spirited. Now I'm getting a little age on me. <laughs> he got a little sway back there, but that ain't gonna hurt him bad. I mean, you know. Now who presented you with Cyclone Jr.? Shelby Colors. Okay. And the boys of the 731st Maintenance. This is what they give me. They want me to ride him back from Ozark. <laughs> That's a long way to ride. But I decided to put him on a deuce and a half and ride him back anyhow. But I do appreciate him, and he will be in some of my upcoming movies of the Badlands of Tallahassee. When I fight the wife, when I fight the mean guys, the bad guys. Because there's a lot of meanness going on in Tallahassee right now. You know, we having some troubles here. Skinner's has been having wars down yeah. there, Fernty War. Charles, he has been having wreck battles up yeah. there. But the old Texan Cyclone will be anywhere they need it at any time. Don't start no trouble around here, folks. You liable to see me ride up on him any minute. I ain't got like Charles Sterk. Charles Sterk could ride in a barn on a black horse and ride out on a white horse. Could he? Yeah. Durango Kid. Yeah. You remember that, yeah. huh? You remember Jimmy Wakeley? Yeah, well, you, we could fix it where you could do that, too. You remember Johnny Mac Brown? Yeah. What was the name of his horse? Buttermilk. No, <laughs> that wasn't Johnny Mac Brown. <laughs> Whose horse was Buttermilk? Dale Evans. Oh, oh. Johnny Mac Brown didn't look like Dale Evans. <laughs> well, I'm sorry, Johnny Mac. Huh? <laughs> what was the name of Johnny Mac's horse? Rebel. Oh, Rebel, okay. Yeah, sure was. And uh, a lot of others there, you know, that I could name. Whose horse was named Thunder? I have no idea. Wild Bill Elliott. My goodness, you don't know much about cowboys, Wild do you? Wild Bill Elliott. I thought it was Wild Bill Hickok. No, Wild Bill Elliott wore two guns like that. Uh, Wild Bill Elliott. You don't remember? You remember Jimmy Wakeley? Mm -hmm. Sunset Carson? Mm -hmm. You don't remember none of them? Ken Maynard? No. Ken Curtis? Bob Steele, I remember. Rex Allen? Rex Allen, I remember. Okay, tell me the name of his horse. Buttermilk. Dale Evans, I told you. <laughs> Rex Allen's horse was named Coco. Oh, I'm trying. I knew it was some kind of milk. What was Frog Millhouse's <laughs> horse name? He rode a mule. No, he didn't. No, Frog Millhouse rode a white horse. What Ring was, eye. That's it. You got one. <laughs> Cyclone. I knew he had a ring around his eye. Hold your ears there, Cyclone. This man don't know much about horses. Beats all I ever seen. What was Roy Rogers' sidekick name? Pat Brady. Pat Buttram. Pat yeah. Brady. Yeah. Gabby Hayes. He had two or Gabby three. Gabby Hayes went around hung around with Gene Autry. No, Frog Millhouse no. hung around with Gene Autry. Oh, okay. Who hung, who hung around with Buster Crowd? Fuzzy Al St. John. That's right. You're getting better. <laughs> I mean, you, you beat all I've seen. What was the name of the three musketeers? I don't know about that now. Huh? God. Tucson. Lullaby and Stony. Okay. Right, man, I'm Tucson, just... Lullaby, and Stony. That's right. Three I got to get out of here. I'm tired of messing with you. Cyclone, have we heard enough of this? Look at the folks. 
Stand, rear up for him, Cy. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at old Cy. Whoa, boy. I like that. You know, Roy Rogers could do that with Trigger. Yeah. That's all right. Don't get well, excited. He had a Jeep that would rear up, too. Old Cyclone's word that when he dies, I'm going to stuff him like Roy Rogers did, <laughs> put him in the living room. But I ain't going to do that, Cyclone. No, man, hold on now, horse. Yeah, I was in town the other day, and some fellow said, where's your horse? I said, I didn't think I needed him. I figured I'd meet a jackass. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, yeah, I got to get out of here. I'm back in the saddle again. Come on, Cyclone. And there he goes, once again, riding off into the sunset on Cyclone Jr., presented by the boys of the 731st.